House update number five here. So a lot of cool things have happened since the last update. Obviously, as you can kind of see right here around me and behind me, we've got all of the walls up, all the sheetrock's been done, drywall, mudding's been done. So rather than this just being, you know, sticks and two by fours and two by sixes, now we've actually got the feeling of a, of a, of a space, right? We've got walls and we've got ceilings and all that. So we now can really get a better feel for what this is really becoming. A lot of big progress has been made, a lot more to come. Wanted to go ahead and give a quick tour. Again, house update number five here, but let's go ahead and take a look, see what all has been done. Currently standing over in the corner of my living room, kind of pan across here real quick. On my right would be the, you know, the main front doors foyer. So standing right here, when you come in the door, this is what you see, master bedroom straight ahead. To the left here is the living room. You've got the doors out to the front right there, pan across, doors out to the back. And then over here to the right, we've got the kitchen. So of course there's gonna be an island that'll go in, you know, right here. We've got uh, cabinetry and everything that'll go over there. We've got our refrigerator over here, range and stuff here, and then countertops here. And then on this side, this will be a dining table area. Our plan for this doorway here, so this is coming in from the mudroom, our plan is to do a sliding barn door that goes that way and comes back. Heading in this direction, actually. So we've got the garage in here. And then over to the left, we've got our first floor laundry room. Head back out into the main area. So this is kind of another view of the kitchen. We've got the pantry straight ahead. So the idea with the pantry here as well is... We're probably going to have doors that go, you know, like that, like one opens to the left, one opens to the right. So split doors there. We just didn't want to deal with a swinging door or anything like that because it would take up space, whether it be in the pantry or into the kitchen. Here to the right, this will be into the, the powder room. And then we head back this way again, another view of the kitchen area, kind of panning across, heading towards the living room. As we go to the right here, we've got this nice opening, so passageway to go out to the back door or just to come around to another part of the living room. And then we head this direction into the master. Once you walk into the master, this is kind of the first thing you see. If I kind of pan across, we've got a door that goes out to our back patio right here, panning over to the right. The passageway there is to our bathroom. And then the one over here on the right is to our closet. Looking back this way, that's back out to the front. Uh, and we're also going to have French doors right here as well. So I believe they're swinging inward. So when you come walking in from the front of the house, you'll see the master bedroom doors and the doors will swing inward into here. Bathroom is getting ready to get tiled. They're getting ready to do all the tile here in the next week. We'll have our double vanity sinks right here. We've got our shower straight ahead. We've actually already got some tile stuff in here at the moment. We've got two shower heads, rain head, two lights up there. There's also gonna be a bench that's here. That actually, The bench was actually here, but they had to remove it, I think, to do all the, uh, the drywall and stuff. Over here to the right, not much to it. That's a toilet room. And then kind of coming back this direction, we're gonna have a bathtub, freestanding bathtub over there uh, as well. We've got our closet over here. Pretty big space. This entire left wall here, we're planning on doing shelving or some sort of kind of built-in nice you know, closet over to the right you know, more shelving on the walls, all of that. Uh, I've talked about it before, but over here on the left, we're planning on putting a little ensuite, you know, master bedroom, uh, washer and dryer. This is standing in the corner, looking back towards the entrance of the closet. So head back out this way. Uh, other cool thing too is this door right here, as well as the master door to the uh, bathroom. They're both pocket doors. That's pretty much all the first floor. Let's go ahead and head upstairs to the second floor and check out what's going on here. You walk up the stairs, you come to this landing area. So this is kind of what you see when you first come up the stairs. Got our staircase to the third floor, and then we head over this direction. Straight ahead is an unfinished walk-in attic in the short term. Long term, we're gonna make that a playroom. It's a really good size room. Here to the left, this will be the guest bedroom. And then going back this way, we've got our second floor hallway bath, guest bath. So obviously sink, toilet, and then shower. This is a full standing shower. We plan on putting like a glass door in and stuff here. Uh, but again, this is also getting ready to get tiled sometime this next week, I believe it is. Really nice big hallway area. I'm not sure if it shows on camera. 
you know, properly or not, but nice big open space, like enough for us to put chairs or like a little sofa, TV, you know, I don't know. We'll see, maybe bookcases or shelves, who knows. Here to the right, we've got pocket office slash second floor laundry room. Right here ahead, we've got bedroom one and two. This is the front of the house, this is the back of the house. So head over this direction towards the front. I'm gonna use this as a home office, but here's what we're looking at so far. These windows are really nice and big, face out to the front of the house, to the street. You can also see the clubhouse and stuff, you know, way over there, a bunch of water on the windows. Through into the Jack and Jill, similar to downstairs, we got more, you know, pocket doors, pocket door here, um, you know, tub, toilet area. We've got our vanity sinks here, and then into the other bedroom. Nice room, more windows. This is a nice you know, kind of private view out here to the backyard. No one behind us, no one to the left of us. Head back out this way. Up to the third floor we go. We get up to the landing up here. We've got a closet to the left. We've got a full bathroom to the right. Definitely not gonna be able to see this all that well, but nice space. I was actually pleasantly surprised with how much room is in that shower. Cause really this is just an attic that we converted into a functional space. This'll be like our bonus, you know, media room, movie room, whatever you want to call it. What I love here though, is this vantage point from these windows. We've got kind of the entrance to our section going that way. We've got, I don't know how well you can see it, but over there to the left is the pool and one of the clubhouses and really nice having it super close. That is a quick recap of uh, the house, house update number five. Pretty exciting stuff, obviously a lot more to go, but now that the walls are up, drywall's up, the mudding is going, gives a much better feel of what the house is gonna be like and uh, just kind of the space overall. So some exciting things, you know, still to come. Obviously I've mentioned that we got tile starting here this week, siding going up on the outside. But then after that, I mean, we start getting into a lot of the, the cool little things. So there'll be a lot more videos on floors, cabinets, tiles, accents, fixtures, you know, whatever. Been fun uh, documenting all of this. Hope you're enjoying following along or just also, you know, maybe watching this years down the road and kind of reliving the moments. House update number six coming along sometime soon and uh, we'll talk to you soon.